Well, I always say it's more fun winning than losing, and it's, it's amazing the different atmosphere when you get across the line. So uh, I thought the boys were really good today. Uh, it's always a nice feeling to be in a final, um, and I guess the plan today was just to relax, enjoy it. It's a young team. It's important for the young team to win big games, I think. It gets them a bit more battle-hardened, and it keeps up the tradition of winning big games of cricket for Australia. Yeah, I really admired that. I, if you guys came to um, the three W's ground the other day, um, he had a centre wicket practice and he absolutely creamed them. And uh, I actually wrote a post-series assessment yesterday and I said even though he hasn't um, had much of a hit, he's batting really well. So it was nice to see him be rewarded today. I thought he was uh, real courage the way he played. He played Nareen very well. We always thought, we've said since the first day of the series, Nareen's the danger player every time we play the West Indies. We keep him out of the game. I think we've done that brilliantly for the series. So um, and it's a big reason why we've been victors because we were able to play Nareen so well. I thought Matthew Wade did that well. He showed maturity. He's the captain of Victoria at the moment. Showed really good leadership and geez, he played well. He, he batted very well. So it's nice to see that. Well, I just think the West Indies cricket is so exciting. I mean, they won the, the T20 World Cup. Um, they're so dangerous. They're, 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 they're like a, a, a boxer who's got the big right hook and he could knock you out at any time. And that's what the West Indies are. They've got so much talent. And, um, you know, we, we knew we were going to be in for a fight today. We're in for a fight um, every time we play these guys. So uh, one thing I'm interested in West Indies cricket, though, that we've watched um, a lot of had a lot of net bowlers in the last month and there's so much fast bowling talent here. You've got big, tall, beautiful athletes and they run in the ball fast and they keep bowling all day but I don't understand for what it's worth that you play on such dead, low, lifeless wickets. West Indies cricket to, to Australians, we remember Marshall and Garner and um, Holding and Roberts and then Ambrose and Walsh Australians everywhere talk about the fast bowlers in West Indies and yet they play on these really flat, low wickets. It doesn't make any sense to us because if you could um, harness the natural ability you've got in the West Indies with those tall, fast bowlers, um, you know, Noreen's still going to be a star because he's a star, he's a superstar bowler. But if you harness that, then what it would do is you'd get the batsman to get more used to facing fast bowling, more used to facing... Um, short pitch bowling and with the natural talent they've got it won't take long but you've got to face it you've got to you've got to be exposed to it and then you've got so much natural we've seen it in out the net bowlers I'm, <clears throat> I'm in awe of how many young fast bowlers we've got in the West Indies we've seen it in Guyana we've seen it in St Kitts we've seen it in Barbados and yet you play on wickets which bounce about this high it doesn't make sense to me so if they you know, West Indies, we love coming here. It's an awesome tour. It's my, always been my favourite tour. There's a lot of talent, and I think they're playing really well. I mean, they're unlucky not to win tonight. In fact, they made the final. They beat South Africa very well, who are on paper an unbelievable cricket team. So, you know, West Indies have got plenty to look forward to, I think. I just think, well, what's worth well is the one, the squad mentality. We talked about it from day one. Everyone played. Scotty Boland would have played two games, but... He, um, we got washed out. Um, Adam Zampa was left out. Glenn Maxwell was left out and had to and came back and had a match-winning innings. Um, James Faulkner missed out the first couple of innings because we played two spinners. Um, the fact that they all the I know they're disappointed they're not playing, but they embrace the squad mentality to win a Champions League, for example. You've got to have squad man. The beautiful thing about playing for Australia is you've got 15 or 16 really talented players who can all do the job. Um, you don't necessarily have that in domestic cricket. You do because you've got the riches of the best players. So, and we were really confident that they, everyone could step up. We saw that for most of the tour. Um, so that worked well. I thought the experience they gave in big games, you can never underestimate. Everybody would have lost tonight, they would have become more battle-hardened in a big game. But the fact that we won, that's, that's nice. So Steve Smith was asked after the game why Australians win the big games. But it's a nice habit to keep going. But you've got to keep the habit going by winning the big games. So that's, that experience would be good. Um, Adam Zampa getting some opportunities. Nathan coulton Isle getting some opportunities. Um, Mitchell Marsh, his progression through the series, outstanding. Um, Matthew Wade tonight, you know, it's all, it's, it's all very positive, I think. Travis Head getting a taste of it. You know, he hits the ball that hard. Whoa, it's unbelievable how hard he hits it. So, 
you know, and he'll be dying to get an opportunity down the track. And if he keeps playing um, domestic cricket like he did against West Australia last year, he'll get plenty of opportunities.